26 laps. Andrea De Vizioso in pole. Ahead of Valentino Rossi and Scott Redding's first Premier Class front row. Marquez, Crutchlow and Yoni Hernandez, the Colombian there, in sixth position. In north of uh, Holland, and then since 1949, the only seat of the MotoGP World Championship. Dutch TT from Valentino Rossi. Reading in a little bit too hot. He runs it out onto the curve. Rossi leaves. Reading dropping back through the field. Rossi from the Vizioso. Alasis. You can see there is Oi Lorenzo. He's not made the worst start. Because he's not been able to make any impression as yet on Alasis Spyro. And Paul Spargo think about a look up the inside of Hernandez. It was a great start actually by Lorenzo coming from that 10th place on the grid. He's dropped back low now to 6. Yoni Hernandez is the man on the charge early on here. Next in his sights is Mark Marquez. What about Andrea Yanoni from the back of the grid? Yanoni already up into 11. What? Up towards the chicane they come through the famous left hand of the Ramsham. First time at the chicane. Rossi leads. They feel their way through this very... Hernandez is the man on the charge. He's now up the inside of Alicia Spargro. Johnny Hernandez on the Aspar Ducati up into third place. He's decided, I'm going Go for, for it. Bro. I've got in the service trying to eke out an advantage, but Hernandez is on the charge. He is just... Certainly was they cross the line. Yoni Hernandez in second place as they come up towards Harbour. Quicker than Rossi. Hernandez leads the Dutch TT. He's majestically moved up the inside of Davizioso and Rossi. Yoni Hernandez on the Aspar Ducati leads here on lap. At least now Rossi's got a bit of a reference in front of him with Hernandez. But he's certainly not going to be picking a fight with the Colombian, of course. Valentino Rossi right in world chat. Caution to the wind here. Fastest lap of the race, a 151.6. He's two seconds, Quay Lorenzo. Lorenzo really, really struggling to hold a point score in place. That Aspar the Catty bucking and weaving under acceleration for Yoni Hernandez. Again, he's the quickest. He's still managing that gap, 2.4 seconds over Rossi, who can't in turn shake off the attention of De Vizioso. Lorenzo, watch. Down yeah, for here a we go. Here, here we go. Flag is out. The rain has returned. Yoni Hernandez can still do this, but. Is a master plan going on at the moment from the master number 46. Yeah, we've got nobody in the open air here on the run down to the first corner. Yeah, man, this pull this off. Has he played the absolute master stroke? It would be, well, in the 86 years of racing here, certainly since they've had a Grand Prix here, we've got to stay aboard, haven't it? He has. What about the gap then now between Hernandez and Davizioso? It's come down to three four. There's Johnny Hernandez's soft option rear tyre. We talked about, of course, it being the first non-factory victory in MotoGP for 10 years. It would be the Cat's potentially first win since four seconds faster than Hernandez. Last time around, we've got a fall, have we, yet? Oh, it's Hernandez! Johnny Hernandez has crashed! Johnny Hernandez out of the lead! Johnny Hernandez! Biggest moment of his life has gone. Yoni Hernandez on course, for, well, pulled into the pits. Yoni Hernandez it? in. Brave, brave, brave ride. He's by just, is he changing Columbia. bikes? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, just changing yeah. bikes. But uh, any chance he had of that race victory is gone. Yeah, these riders, they've used Michelin rain tyres in the wet before, but certainly nothing in conditions as severe as this, Nick. He cannot believe it.